Okay, hello everyone. Now I've been watching some YouTube videos um, of people creating batteries out of water and earth, and I find it quite intriguing, even though it does sound like a school science project. I thought I might have a bit of experiment myself and see how far we can take this project. Um, in front of you, in front of me, you're seeing a glass just full of normal tap water. And this is going to be the first of our test to choose the best material that we're going to use to further construct larger batteries in the future, which I'll be hopefully recording and um, showing you um, how I'm going to build these batteries. So, um, as I said, this is a glass of water and it's full of different metals. This guy in front here, this is just brass, it's engravers brass. Um, we've got the zinc here, um, it's actually uh, zinc alum, galvanized. We've got 316 stainless at the back here, and chrome plated aluminium. This is just for experimental purposes, I don't think this will conduct at all. And raw aluminium here, just so we can find the best materials. So I'm going to grab our trusty volt meter set to read DC volts as you can see there and we're going to lay this meter down and I'll show you as I go along what the readings are okay now um, as a negative I'm going to be using the zinc for all these tests I've um, before I've done some tests previous to this one and I found that that's the best negative conductor by far um, mixing up all the combinations so I just need to find a good positive conductor now I'm going to start with the um, stainless here at the back and as you can see the 316 stainless is producing 0.7 of a volt and holding now this is one I wanted to just try out, but you'll find it's not at all. It's trying to get a reading there. It's very weak. The aluminium. Now aluminium seems to hold at 0.3, which is good, but it'd be better if we can find something higher to work with. The brass. I couldn't get any copper, um, even though it is a good conductor. But um, brass is very close to copper. So there we go. Brass is trying to get 0.9, nearly one volt. See? So we'll be, I think, using the brass and the zinc for our future battery experiments. Okay, and that's all for today. Time to start building the Earth battery. <laughs> 